So obviously the situation in the country as it relates to the pandemic is looking pretty bleak because COVID cases across the country are on the rise thanks to the Delta variant. But in Florida, the daily average has skyrocketed and hospitalizations have increased by 130 percent. And as Politico's Matt Dixon and Bruce Ritchie explain, the head of Florida's largest hospital association warned that the skyrocketing number of COVID hospitalizations is unlike anything the state has seen before, even as Governor Ron DeSantis downplays the spike. The Florida Hospital Association on Monday reported 10,389 COVID-19 hospitalizations, the most statewide during any point in the pandemic. This follows CDC reporting over the weekend that the state had more than 21,000 new coronavirus infections on Friday. It was the highest highest one-day total for Florida, which now makes up roughly one in five new cases nationally. About 95% of those hospitalized are unvaccinated, and Mary Mayhew, the president and CEO of the Florida Hospital Association, said the Delta variant that is sweeping through Florida is infecting young and unvaccinated people and is much different than the previous strain. Now, while the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, has thankfully finally encouraged people to get vaccinated, while simultaneously he's doing other things that are literally stopping people from trying to contain the spread of the virus and i can't read what we're about to read and not come to any other conclusion than ron DeSantis is is just pro covid 19 like there's no other way to interpret this so as florida's coronavirus infections continue to soar public health officials and local elected leaders have pressed the desantis administration to take more drastic steps to get the virus under control desantis however has maintained a strict no mandate approach to the virus including touting an executive order last week that prohibits school districts from requiring masks in k-12 facilities he also vowed to fight any cities or municipalities that try to institute COVID restrictions including mask mandates or lockdowns So, I mean, this is pure insanity. Ron DeSantis needs to prove to us whose side he's on. Is he on the side of Florida, Floridians, and humanity? Or is he actually on the side of the virus? Because he's going out of his way to make us less effective at fighting the spread of the virus. Masks work. It's the easiest thing that can be done to try to contain the spread of the virus. And when it comes to K-12 through schools... Many of those children are not eligible to get vaccinated. So he's saying, no, 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 you can't wear masks, even if many of you can't take the vaccine. Those under 11, sorry, I know that you can't get vaccinated, but you also can't wear masks. I mean, this behavior here is sociopathic. It borders on psychopathic behavior. This is just insane. It's insane. Um, And he's doing all of this, putting the lives of children at risk, all to virtue signal to his far right base to run on something to suggest that, you know, he he fought against this woke SJW mask mandate or whatever. He's going to run on this as if it's a positive when people should be looking at him as one of the biggest supervillains on the planet because of all of the blood that he has on his hands. So in the event you're a school in Florida and you don't want to comply with his ban on mask mandates. Well, what happens? Well, you'll be punished. So as CNN reports, Florida's largest school district said it's worried about funding if it does not follow Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order preventing the implementation of mask mandates in schools. Miami-Dade County Public Schools previously said it planned to revisit its mask-optional policy due to new guidelines issued by the U.S. CDC last week that recommended localities encourage all teachers, staff, students, and visitors in schools to wear masks indoors regardless of vaccination status. Miami-Dade the nation's fourth largest school district returns to school august 23rd so i mean if schools in miami day do the right thing and they require masks then they get penalized for it they lose funding and then as a result of losing funding that also makes them less equipped to deal with the virus they're enabled you know unable to purchase um hand sanitizer soap other things that they can do to try to mitigate the spread it's just the situation is already grim in the united states and throughout the world because of this pandemic and then you have individuals like ron DeSantis going out of their way to make it worse literally fighting on the side of the virus i mean functionally he's pro covid 19 there's no other way to interpret this like there are some republicans in the united states who genuinely want the virus to go on forever seemingly because this gives them more political power they can run on how anti-lockdown they were i'm not necessarily sure what their motivations are but their motivations don't matter what matters 
is their actions and what they're doing. And what he's doing here is incredibly disgusting. It endangers children, and people are going to die because of this ghoul. And uh, it's sickening. So, I mean, you'd think that this would be the death of his political career, given how poorly he's handled COVID-19. But again, because of the sad state of politics in the United States of America, because of how polarized we are, because of, we've, because of the politicization of the virus, he's going to run on this as if it's some sort of a positive. And that is just so sick and twisted. It really is.